inside this cell. Is parkour some sort of like but energy that wasn't source? That's going to stop me from trying. And the Make parkour sure pros are one jump in ex extracting the energy from their parkour. Hello, everybody, to the party. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be watching Minecraft Parkour Civilization the movie which is pretty i'm pretty sure it's just all of it in one i think there's technically two episodes and they're both two hours long but we're watching the first hour of parkour civilization full movie because you guys completed the goal in the chat of this live stream because youtube has goals now <laughs> for super chat we're gonna be watching the first hour and then if you guys want next stream i'll do another goal to watch the second hour so if you want to show up and watch it then make sure you do the goal next week as well i i know <laughs> very little about this i know it's been popping off i heard it's funny and there's a lot of lore the general j thing that like i'm kind of aware of is that it's like it's a minecraft world but the world is parkour and everything you do is parkour and there's like a, a, a one block jump with chicken on it and a two block jump with beef on it but no one goes for the beef that's all i know <laughs> that's all i know but we're gonna find out with this first hour of Minecraft parkour and start Let's off. go, open up, it's time for parkour. All right, time for my mandatory parkour check. Let's get this over with. You're late, you know the deal. You can do the one block jump for the raw chicken or you can okay. attempt the one block vertical jump for the beef. Here in parkour civilization, no one chooses to jump for the beef. <laughs> it's better to be safe and do the one block jump for the chicken rather than risk your entire life for just half a hunger bar more. Nobody Tomorrow, does. <laughs> you better not be late or you'll be doing two block jumps as punishment. Yes, sir, sorry, I won't be late next time. Down here, us parkour noobs only get fed once a day. One piece of raw chicken is just get enough to get you to day. the next day. But that's the life of parkour civilization. If you want to survive, oh you have to parkour. <laughs> it's Every all parkour. parkour noob has the same goal, and that's to make it to the top layer where all the parkour pros live. Except most parkour pros are born on the top layer. Is this a layer. shonen? If you're a parkour noob, there's only one way up, and that is through the Temple of Parkour. The Temple of Parkour oh is the only structure in the world is this a, that is this combines a Minecraft the bottom layer shonen? to the top layer. To make it up, you have to do an impossibly hard parkour course that no parkour noob has ever completed. And that's assuming you even get the chance to complete the course. The inside of the temple is protected by a barrier, and the only way a parkour noob gets past past the barrier is if they've earned a ticket. I've never even tried getting a ticket before, but if I'm going to rank up to a parkour How do you earn pro a ticket? one day, I'm going to have to. Do you to. get the ticket by doing the beef? Pretty much everyone has fallen into the void and died, except for the guy who pretty lives much right everyone next died. to me. He's been my neighbor for five years. No! Why did no! you try going for the beef? Well, I guess I have to change my state. That was my I favorite character. In, alone. in parkour civilization, only parkour pros are allowed to break or place blocks. For parkour noobs, it's strictly prohibited. And unfortunately, I found that out the hard way. A while ago, I was searching around and I somehow stumbled upon an oak log. No one has seen an oak log in years since trees don't exist in parkour civilization. So I had to try to take it. Stop right now. Oh, no, I'm done for. Oh, you fuck. really thought you could break that without me noticing? What, were you going to try to cheat parkour? No, sir, I didn't try to cheat. I just just thought it would be super rare and I wanted to collect it. Stop talking. He's Give me two jumps me, now. Two jumps in a row? Okay, sorry, sir. I'll do it right now. You know what? You seem a little too happy about two. Let's make it three. Oh, okay, shit. I'll three? three. You know what? Now let's make it four jumps in a row. Ah, uh, four in a row? Come on. In parkour civilization, <laughs> it should be no surprise that all punishments were just more forms of parkour. And that was the last time I ever tried breaking there. a block. <laughs> You're lucky you've got a light punishment. Don't forget, you're at the bottom, so follow the rules. It's Is jumping one block parkour? If you're at the bottom level of parkour civilization, it's not Stop exactly the best. Stop saying parkour But not everything in parkour civilization is that bad. For example, I was able to use parkour to buy the biggest house in the neighborhood. In parkour civilization, literally Ow. everything is parkour, and that means parkour has replaced money. Welcome! Choose which house you want to buy. It's pretty nice. In parkour civilization, all you have to do to buy anything is just make more parkour jumps. I'm not really sure why or how parkour works as a currency, but all I know is I basically bought a two-story house for free. Somehow when I was buying my house, I convinced myself to go for the ladder jump to buy the bigger house. In parkour civilization, parkour jumps with trickier items like ladders are worth more. That's why this jump so just basically landing and hitting bought the ladder. me a mansion. No way! Thank you for buying the big house. Let me take you right to it. Just follow me. Let's Bro, go. that's this fucked awesome. up. I just bought my Why first house. Do that? All houses in parkour civilization are pre-built, and they all have one thing in common. It's a requirement that every single house has a parkour jump inside to get to your bed. This is a way to make sure everyone in parkour civilization it is parkours everywhere they go. Imagine waking up and then house. falling to your death. So, <laughs> this is the neighborhood you'll be living in. You're the only two-story house Couldn't here. Couldn't be me. So if you follow me, I'll give you a house tour. 
This is so sick. That ladder jump literally maybe the richest floors. one in the neighborhood. Does As he have two see, parkour? You have a jump on the top floor and a jump on the bottom <laughs> he does, he totally floor. Let me show you too. the upstairs, and then the house is all yours. All right. I mean, everything looks good. I just have to do There's this There's nothing on the bottom bed. floor. Uh, yeah, I think I got everything figured out. Perfect. Last thing, it's I just house. need to check if your parkour jump is good. How are you supposed to check if it's good? Wait, what the? Did this guy for real just jump off? Uh, I'm really confused. Is he alive? Why did he do that? All right. Just wanted no, to my favorite character. your house is ready to move in the guy did in fact die so everything should be good bro fact, did that seriously died <laughs> yeah don't worry about it it's a part of the job enjoy your house how is that a part of what the do you job mean? what no one really remembers how parkour civilization started most of the parkour noobs down here at least think that the parkour pros were the ones who started it but the truth is i think i was the one who started it for some reason i can't remember the best but i'm pretty sure this is how the story went yo see what yo Hello? Bro, you think I could get a diamond real quick? I was mining for like three hours and I only found two diamonds. I just want to make a diamond pickaxe. Uh, sorry. Don't have any to spare. Bro, come on. Don't be like that. You were literally just holding one. Dude, just give me one and Bro's I'll pay you back out later. I diamond. just need a pickaxe. All right, fine. Give me one second. If you want a diamond, you got to give me something. All right, watch out. Back up for one second. Look, if you can make this four block jump, I'll pay you one diamond. Make this four block jump? Wait, why? Why are you going to pay me to do parkour? What do you even gain from this? Uh, I don't know. I've just never seen anyone do it before. I'd pay to see it done. <laughs> okay, I'll take the offer. Oh, this is so annoying. All right, just give me a second. I know it's possible. I've done it before. I told you, bro. Have it's you? not possible. Just stop talking and watch. I'm going to do it in like 30 seconds. And there we go. Finally. Look, I told you it was possible. No way. That was actually incredible. <laughs> All right, well, no I got my money's worth. <laughs> Let's go. I got paid for parkour. If you want, I can keep making more parkour for you to do, and I'll pay you for it. Are you kidding? Dude, totally. All right, I'll be back here the tomorrow, I guess. Superb. And this is basically how parkour and <laughs> for money started. The next day I showed up to Siwat's house, he offered me way more diamonds this time, and he constructed an entire parkour course outside of his house to he do. He placed a couple but of blocks on the ground. that this parkour course would completely change the way that the world works. Soon Brush after a vertical this event, the parkour civilization jump. began. Now that I think about it, there's kind of an unexplainable gap between those events and now, but oh well. Parkour check time. You got 30 seconds. <sighs> Another beautiful morning and I have to parkour for some more raw chicken that will make me starve even more. All right, all right. I'm starve even one more. One block for raw chicken, one block vertical for beef. What are you choosing today? Considering my neighbor just died for going for the beef, I'm just going to go with the chicken again. Keep in mind, there's a ticket event. But today. nobody goes it's for the beef be about parkour civilization. West. This was huge news. If there actually was a ticket event today, I would need to go for the beef. Ticket events are usually far away, and I would starve by the time I got there if I chose the chicken. Oh, but fuck. luckily, got I the got beef. the beef. No way. You made that jump? You might become a parkour pro. Oh, one day. shit. Wait, you really think I could rank up? The show and protagonist pro? can make <laughs> the jump. Not a chance. You're a parkour noob. You guys never rank up. It's important to know that parkour pros have somewhere. really big egos, and they like to put down the parkour noobs. This was an important day. This was only the second time I've jumped for the beef, and now I have a chance to earn a ticket. I the ticket events the are beef. so risky because they're located so far away. If I wasn't paying attention, I could miss just one of these one-block jumps, and my entire chances of becoming a parkour pro a would be over. But Why luckily, I made it to the ticket event. When I got here, there were only three parkour noobs in oh, line to shit. do the parkour course. Most noobs don't even show up non straight Line because parkour. if you miss one jump, you oh, end up fuck. like this guy. And that's the price you pay if you want a ticket to be a parkour pro. I watched as the second noob fell to the void. Hey, They're man, gonna run out of noobs. Go already? I don't know, man. I'm kind of nervous I'm gonna fall. No, you don't need to be nervous. I'm sure you're fine. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, fuck, Freddy. Never mind then. Before going for it, I wanted to study the parkour course. You see, every week, the ticket challenge changes, and it's completely random. And this week's course was extremely difficult. There was a two-block jump to get to the ticket, and if you get it, a two-block jump to get out of it. Here's the thing about parkour civilization. Parkour can be used for anything, and that includes bribing parkour pros. Check this out. If I do a parkour jump with the parkour can be used will you replace anything. one of the two-block jumps? Jumps with a one block jump you want to do a one block jump with a 360 fine there's no way you're gonna make it but i'll accept let's go the parkour pro accepted by bribe and now i have another problem i have to do a 360 have i even done this before whatever i'm just gonna go for it please make it <gasps> No way. He did I not do did it. All right, deals the deal, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> that was lie. Like a that was the coolest thing I've seen a parkour noob do. <laughs> well, the deal's a deal. Here you he go. Landed let's looking go. left. Now there was only one two block jump in the course. 
still gotta make the first two buck jump, noob. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just let me do the course, bro. This was my best chance to finally earn a ticket. Don't tick if him I off. He's gonna take it away. Ticket, I could access the parkour temple and make my way up into a better life as a parkour You don't know pro, what's better out there. There was no turning back now. I had to start the worse. course. Most parkour noobs aren't experienced with diagonal jumps, but somehow I got past it. And oh, now shit. was the two block jump. It this is two was block diagonal jump. I closed my eyes and I went for it. I expected to be falling so thousands of feet per second Bro, into the void, but to my surprise, my I was he standing on he the platform hit it. with the ticket. And thanks to the deal I made with the parkour Bro's pro, I right only now. had a one block jump to get out of the course. This was life changing. This was the first time I've ever received a ticket to access the parkour temple. And I promised myself that I wasn't oh, going to waste shit. it. I made my way over to the parkour temple. I was in a this good would be spot. Like episode I had three five full of hunger anime. Bars, which is the most hunger a parkour noob can have. This was it. There was no better time, no more perfect time to try making the parkour course to rank up to a parkour pro. I walked up to the hoppers in the ground and I threw in my ticket. After a few seconds, the invisible barrier that guards the parkour temple was down. And now, of course, I had to make sure I didn't fail the one block jump to actually get inside Their the temple. Their narration is I made starting the to infuriate me. <laughs> and now I'm gonna keep I was it real with you guys. Inside the temple. This was it. This was the moment I've been waiting for my entire gone life. Wait, this was the this is the furthest he's gone no without having to do parkour. Ever beaten. If you miss any of these jumps, you'll either die from fall damage or fall directly into the void. But I've come too far and I've practiced too much to have that happen. I wasn't just going to be another parkour noob that fails too this many course. Vertical I was going to be the first one to rank up to become a parkour pro. My journey to becoming a parkour pro starts now. <laughs> hey. Wake up. No, bro, Want die. Want to eat today or what? All right, let's get this over with. Let's go. Hurry up and do the parkour, noob. Down here in parkour prison, even the parkour cells have one block jump. Prison, if you no. miss a single jump, or if a parkour pro catches you not jumping for 30 seconds, you'll be thrown into the lava. All right, I gotta ask. Do you want to do a diagonal jump to reduce your prison sentence time? Most parkour noobs would never take this deal. Diagonal jumps the are just not twist. worth the risk. But I wasn't <laughs> also, just I gonna totally call in parkour prison my entire life. Time. If there was any chance I could get out sooner, I was gonna take it. That was unexpected. Congrats, you've earned one day off your prison time. That means you go from 49 years and 320 days to 49 years and 319 days left. And this is how my life is gonna be just keep for the next it? 49 years in parkour prison. That is, oh unless I find a way to get to that portal and make my way back to parkour civilization. Parkour prison is located directly under the bottom layer of parkour civilization. So you don't die if when you fall? If a parkour noob misses any jump, they fall into the void and end up here. And the only way back to civilization is to spend 50 years here without failing a jump. Before I was sent here, I never knew this place you existed. You actually died? And I was you so fall this close time? to becoming a parkour pro. My entire life, I've been training for one goal, and that's to go to the temple of parkour Stop. and complete the impossible course <laughs> to rank up I, to become a parkour I'm pro. I'm getting this recap everything. every three I seconds. I earned the ticket to get inside the temple, and I had enough food to make the journey. But when the time came, I failed the first jump. And now I'm dead. I know this is like what spliced together from a bunch of them, but all I? together Welcome at the same to time is infuriating. <laughs> or as most noobs call it, their worst nightmare. If you'll just follow me, I'll take you right to your cell. Parkour prison? What is this place? I don't get it. How am I still <laughs> alive? Hey, and uh, just we cut the entire sure explanation, and now we're getting a flashback. If you follow the lava, you will die for real this time. Oh, yeah, not a problem. I've never missed a one block jump in my life. What I didn't get is why parkour prison existed. Instead Sir. of letting the parkour noobs just fall into the void. Somehow this massive structure was made under the void to catch us. But why? All right, noob, this is your cell. Go on in. All of the cells is in parkour, parkour prison Hold were on. separated by a three block gap. Meaning once I went inside is this cell, is parkour some sort of like but energy that wasn't source? Gonna stop me from trying. And the Make parkour sure pros are one jump in ex cell extracting the energy if from their parkour. You're not, jumping, you're not making it. So they don't here. actually Just want them to die. Just before this, I was about to rank up to be a parkour pro. That's and my now, theory. <laughs> I'm in the most dangerous place in don't parkour spoil civilization. It, as far as I'm concerned, I'm the only noob right now in parkour prison. My guess is most of them by now fell in the lava. Wait, there's actually someone here. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not alone down here. He's Wait, gonna die why immediately. does this guy look familiar? He's been my neighbor for oh, five fuck. years. Oh, no! Why did he try going for the beef?
No way, it is my neighbor. Wow, I'm so glad I'm not alone down here. I just- No! Dude, what is wrong with this guy? Bro, right, didn't even he jump. has to be doing it on purpose at this point. The only thing that's better about parkour prison is they feed us fish instead of raw chicken. Hey, noob, let's go. You've been selected for parkour testing. Be down there in 30 seconds. And this is one of the not-so-good parts about prison. The random parkour testing. Bro, wait, you didn't even fill in this gap. Ah, man, now I gotta do another one-block jump. If you're a prisoner here, the only thing you hope for is that you don't get selected for random parkour testing. You're literally the only days, one. The pros will pick you're a noob at random to test out there. the new course of they course built. This time, the course I was selected for had fence parkour. If I failed to make this one block fence, fence jump, I wouldn't be coming back. Let's go. We don't have all day. Get on the course. Yes, sir. I'm going right now. The worst part about these random courses is that they intentionally use harder blocks for the jumps. The pros know that the noobs have almost no experience with fence jumps, but they build them anyways. Alright, testing complete. Back to your in 30 seconds. By some miracle, I was able to get past this week's random testing course. But what about the next week or the week after that? There's gonna be some day when they build a jump that I can't do, and I need to get out of here before that happens. Luckily, I've been thinking of a plan to make my escape. Back in Parkour Civilization, no, parkour. I used parkour to Kill bribe the one of the parkour. pros, and now I was gonna do it again. Hey, guard! What do you want, noob? I got noob. something to show you. Can you come over here? This better be worth my time, or I'm not feeding you tomorrow. Okay, what? Oh, nothing really. I just wanted to ask you if I could pay you in, uh, three diagonal jumps in a row for five minutes of free time? Three in a row? Yep, three in a row. What do you no think? No one's ever You're done three in a row. That, but it's not like I care anyways. Sure. Like always, parkour can be used to get out of any situation. But now, I have one prison. chance to make three diagonal jumps in a row, or else I was dead. Come on. One, two, three. No way. I Bro, actually did those did jumps it. a little okay, fast. Okay, five minutes of free time, but you better be back in your cell by the time I get back. The bribe worked. Now, I had five minutes to roam around parkour prison to see if I could find a way to escape. I had no clue what was going to happen to me after I escaped, but I didn't have time to think about Should that right now. When I jumped time. around the prison, I noticed someone doing the random testing course. Wait, is that who I think it is? No, you don't need to be nervous. I'm sure you're fine. Oh, no way. It is the guy who failed the ticket event in front of me. Bunch that guy was die. nice. I hope he clutches up these glass jumps and makes it back to civilization. Glass oh, jumps is crazy. Something was strange about this testing course. Why were they using glass for parkour? That glass jumps difficult. aren't even a thing at the parkour noob level. If noobs have never done glass jumps, why would they use them to test the jumps? I just gotta get out of here. I bet you're trying to think of a plan to escape, right? Huh? What? Escape? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? I would never try no. to escape. <laughs> you're not? I was gonna take you to the portal, but if you don't want to... This obviously seems like you're trying to set me up. It's not a setup. No one says you have to stay here. You can leave at oh, any time. Just follow me and I'll take you there. I'm 99% sure I'm being led into a trap, but it doesn't matter. If he gets me close to the portal, I'll try to improvise. If, get out, if this get guard out, right? was leading me into a trap, they probably I want them to get was. out because he was it's already getting to get me up so there. close to the portal. At this point, I was just gonna have to take a chance and hope that he was telling me the truth. I was now five blocks away from going back to parkour civilization. You can leave now if you accept the terms that you can never earn a ticket to rank up to become a parkour pro for the rest of your life. Huh? Wait, you're saying if I go back to parkour civilization now, I can never be a parkour pro? That's but, correct. Yes, or that's you can wait out the remainder of that's your 49 years ago. here in prison. So this was the catch. I could leave parkour prison right now, but in Kill return, I could go never back anyway. become a parkour pro. Or I could try to survive here for another 49 years. It wasn't worth it to stay. I needed to get out of here. Okay, I've made my decision. I'm gonna go back. So you accept? Good luck. This no one was ever it. accepts. The work was done. <laughs> I escaped parkour prison. But at what cost? Leaving now meant that I would be a noob for the rest of my life. When I went through the portal, I was brought back into parkour civilization. The portal spawned me at the entrance of the temple of parkour. This was probably the last time I would ever step foot in this temple. I had my chance to rank up to become a pro, and I failed. Now, I can never earn a ticket ever again. You know, it's not the what worst thing in the world. Now, ask I can if just you can go do back a couple to my ordinary life in good. parkour civilization. Rising you know, fall. now that I think about it, it's not the worst situation in the world. I mean, at least I still have my mansion. Wait, who is this? I still own this house, right? No. No, you don't. This house no longer belongs to you. You have to start this over. This noob just purchased this new mansion, so you'll have to leave now. Wait, wait, wait. This guy just bought my house? How can he do that? Well, you fell and went to parkour prison, so you lost the house. When you were down there, this parkour noob bought it. Bro, I don't think you really? usually wow. lose your so house really when you don't own this house anymore. Well, this guy can enjoy- Uh... Okay, it's for sale now. Let's go, so I can move back into my house? 
After you buy it again, sure. Wait, really? Are you gotta, serious? Just gotta do a ladder I have to buy jump. it again? I went back to the shop to go buy my mansion. Oh again, shit, it's but while different. I was at Parkour Prison, something bad happened. The prices for houses in my neighborhood went way up. Damn it. Now, inflation. If I wanted to buy my mansion, I would have had to Parkour pay for inflation. It a two block jump. It was no. too risky. I was gonna have to find somewhere else to live. Fortunately, I found another shop that was selling wood houses. A bit of a downgrade from the stone house, but it was all I could afford. I could either do a one block fence jump for a small house or a one and a half block block stair jump for a large house. I figured if I'm going to be living on the noob level for my entire life, I might as well buy the big house. Luckily, escaping parkour prison gave me the confidence to make the jump easily. Now, I got a mansion in a new He's neighborhood made where, several not to my surprise, everyone jumps. fell into the void, so it's just like me living here. The, the house is definitely a bit of a downgrade <laughs> from my previous mansion, but it's still a two-story house, and it has a painting, which is something you don't really see that often in parkour civilization. Pretty I just good. keep wondering what my life would have been like if I actually made it to Pro all civilization. Day. Now, I don't think I'll ever figure out what it looks like up there. I just wish that- Whoa! What was that? When I went to sit in my chair, I backed up against the wall and there was nothing behind me. This painting was covering something. I walked through the painting and it revealed a secret door. Oh my God, a For some reason, twist. this house I bought had some hidden passage. Whoever made this was obviously trying to hide something. But what was it? There was a ladder that led to the bottom floor. And when I got down there, oh I found God. a man. Old man Somehow, Steve. Somehow there was already someone living here. It's By their leather Black. boots, I could tell it was a parkour noob. This was obviously some mistake. I went to go leave, but then... It's laying in the walls. Don't leave. The man spoke to me. He said he's been watching me. I watched you enter the temple of parkour. I think you have what it takes to rank up. I'm sorry, man. I think you're confused. I can never earn a ticket I can anymore. never go back. I'm gonna be a parkour noob forever. No. There is still this a is simultaneously a the worst wait, wait, written wait. thing ever what and the best written thing about? ever. When I was younger, I earned myself a ticket, but I never used it. Instead, I hid it far, far away. The old man said it wasn't his destiny to rank up to be a pro, but it was mine. He brought out a compass oh and he threw it to me. He told me that if I followed this compass, I'll find the hidden ticket. This was the second chance I was looking for. I had no way of knowing whether the old man was telling the truth or not, but at this point, I had nothing to lose. Maybe this works, maybe it doesn't. All I know is that I wasn't done with parkour civilization just yet. Come on, just one jump at a time <laughs> and I should be there cut. soon. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> oh, this can't be good. This Are is a gate. parkour checkpoint. Why do you want to leave parkour civilization? If the pro found out why I was really out here, I might go back to parkour prison. I was gonna need an excuse. I How did bro uh, get three just beef? wanted to practice my two block jumps. Listen, noob, out there, you'd never survive. Besides, what do you need to practice for? It you looks the fucking up, same. Well, Despite not the convincing surprised. story, it didn't work. I was in big trouble now. Following this compass is the only possible way I can make it up to the parkour pro civilization. I was gonna have to try something else. It's so blurry. I told you to go home. What if I paid you with a backwards jump? A backwards jump? Okay, at least he's listening. And but now that's I get legend. One chance this. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> I actually fuck? made it. That was crazy. Wait, no, that was crazy. <laughs> Move aside and let me try. Wait, it. no, hold up. It. Just make sure you jump that was far enough. Up. Oh, shoot. That was not my plan. I thought he was just going to let me pass. Uh, all right. Well, I guess that works. Now that I made it past the parkour checkpoint, Bro, it was time to go searching for the hidden ticket. That's assuming that the ticket I'm looking for is even real. After the mysterious old man gave me this compass and told me that it would lead to a ticket so to much rank more. up to parkour pro <laughs> civilization, I immediately started preparing for the journey because this time I wasn't going to I will fail. make it the to the temple problem that will take I had to solve the was my parkour food civilization supply. Parkour where all the parkour only get pros once are. Once a day. And if this compass was taking me far away, there was no way I would survive on the raw chicken. So for the past week, I've been doing the beef jump every single morning. And for the rest of the day, I tried not to parkour at all so I could save the food. But that's when I almost got caught. Hold up. What was that sound? Oh no, I'm starving. This isn't good. Why are you taking your damage? Food. Are you starving? Starving? <laughs> no. I'm just in pain because I love pain. parkour so much and I wish I could do it all the time. Oh man, sorry to hear that. Yeah, love hurts. Well, I hope you feel better. By some miracle, the parkour Take pro the bought chicken. my excuse. <laughs> it's right if there. the pro stayed around for any longer, I might have starved to death. I had to eat the piece of beef that I just jumped for, but it didn't matter. I had already prepared enough. By rationing my food, I was able to save up four pieces four. of beef oh for the God. journey. I had no clue Crazy. whether this would be enough food to survive the trip, but 
what? The old man said I had well, everything I needed. <laughs> so I guess I was just gonna parkour have to civilization. Again. We're now always starving just a little bit. For the ticket. Crossing this line of stone means I'm heading into the parkour really hard. outskirts. No noob, including myself, has ever been out here. And probably for a good reason. All I know is that the further away you get from parkour civilization, the more dangerous the jumps become. Already, I was starting to see huge chunks of parkour missing. No oh, one shit. knows how the outskirts came to be like this. Or at least no one down here knows. Yeah, it's actually pay attention to where the it's compass going, kept though. taking me Can't further just go and further away from parkour civilization. The old man must have hid the ticket out here knowing that no parkour pro would ever go this deep to retrieve it. I was running out of time. I had already parkour been pro jumping needed. for hours and now <laughs> they're I'm already, down to on one top. piece of raw beef left. And still, I found nothing. That was until I saw something in the distance. I had no way of knowing, but I had a feeling the that this was pyramid. what I was looking for. <laughs> in all my time here in parkour civilization, I have never seen anything like this. This couldn't be a coincidence, which means I was gonna have to go parkour to the top. I haven't really prepared for anything like this. Vertical jumps don't exist naturally down here. The only place I've seen vertical, vertical jumps. jumps is when I jump for food. Luckily, I made it to the top without falling into the when void. When I jumped for I didn't food, see this is crazy at first glance, But when I pulled out my <laughs> compass, I was in the right place. I didn't get it. The compass was pointing me to the exact block I was standing on. The ticket should Go be down. here. Unless the old man hid the ticket out of sight and put it underground. If I broke this grass block and a parkour pro catches me, I would for sure be going catch back you. to prison for life this time. But if I'm going to have any shot at making it up to the parkour pro civilization, I'm going to take that chance. Well, here goes nothing. I broke the block and underground there was a chest. I couldn't believe it. Oh I had actually found the ticket. But when I opened so the chest, taboo. something was wrong. There was no ticket to be found. Just a barrier. The old man lied. <laughs> to me. There was no ticket to get up barrier. to the pro civilization. Why would he send me all the way out here to get a barrier block? This didn't make any sense. The old man knew I would risk my entire life for a ticket, but he set me up. He placed there the barrier to down explanation and parkour for this. up. Well, if I'm lucky to survive the trip back, I can ask him why he sent me all the way out here just to get a barrier block, which is why also illegal leave the to compass? have. By some miracle, I made it back to the parkour checkpoint without falling. Hey, you. You were the last one to see the pro stationed here. What happened to he him? He fucking died. Oh, I, uh, well, I showed him a backwards jump, and then he tried it for himself and then fell. You? A backwards jump? Are Show you me. serious? Uh, yeah. Okay, now I have to try. So you just go backwards? No. Oh, oh, okay, and he's gone too. No. Am I going to be blamed for this? Fortunately, I Jesus, made it back dude, to my house and no parkour pro you has not stop me telling people block. about that. Now it's time it's to dangerous. ask this old man why in the world he sent old me man's out gonna there be to dead. retrieve this. He's, right, he's bro, so dead. Can explain to me why the... What the... When oh, I got whoa, down whoa. to the basement, the old man was nowhere to be found. All that was he left was a hole himself. in the ground. Did he jump into the void on purpose? I don't understand what's going on. But that's up. when I paid attention to the item that was left on the ground. I knew what it was before I even picked it up. It was a ticket to rank up to become Fuck. a parkour pro. The old man had it on him the entire time, but still sent me to retrieve so the, need the barrier, barrier block? block. The old man wanted me to find this barrier for a reason. And now, this was the sign that I was ready to rank up to become a parkour pro. It was time to head to the parkour temple. I made my way back to the place that I never thought I'd step foot in again. The place where the no parkour, parkour temple. noob in history has ever whenever. made it out alive. I went ahead and ate my last piece of beef. Just like last the time, top. I was in such a perfect spot. <laughs> That's where all Three the parkour bars pros of are. is exactly what I need to make it to the top. The barrier guarding the temple was up, so I threw in my ticket, and the entrance to the parkour temple was now open. All I had to do now was do something that I totally never do, and that's fail one block jumps. Okay, I made the first jump. Please that's don't tell me he sign. falls again. This time around was Please, different. for the love of God. I wasn't going to let the pressure get to me. I was going to be the first noob to ever rank up to the pro civilization. Ah, uh, no. Looking at this jump is giving me flashbacks. My journey to becoming a parkour pro starts now. No, this time was different. <gasps> I successfully made the first jump, oh, and for shit. the first time in my life, I was actually on this the This is just like when course. Goku went now, ultra instinct. Now, all I had to do was just take it one jump at a time. The first section was the Yo, stone blocks. Dude. So far, I've only encountered one block vertical jumps, but they were nothing I couldn't handle. Even though I had been, been on training. the course He's for a good amount so of time, I was someone. still ways away from making it to the top. After I passed the stone block section, I moved on to the stone slab section. Slabs aren't too common in the noob level of parkour civilization, but luckily this section wasn't too hard. But it was the like next section I was stairs. worried about, the stair jumps. This next jump I had to complete was by far the hardest jump I've ever seen. It was a two block jump, oh, but shit. I had to go up half a block. But I didn't come all this way to give up. I went for the jump, but I jumped too early. 
I thought this was it. But oh, by some oh. miracle, a block below me broke my fall. And I only took my heart two and jumped a half out of my chest. Damage, but that was too close. <laughs> I thought to it was fall. over if for bro. If I was even the slightest bit off, I could have been all the way down there in the void. On my second time around, I made the jump. That stair jump essentially marked the end of the stair section. And now I was on the stone walls. Oh, walls were almost shit. never seen at the noob level. But fortunately, I didn't see this anything bigger seen. than a one block jump for the rest of the way. All I had to do was sneak and stay on the course. And that's when I got to the point when the jump stopped. I was so high off the ground now, I can't, but I, I can't knew handle I was at this. the end. I climbed uh, guys, up the stairs bro, I can't until I was this. face to face with the entrance to the parkour pro civilization. This was it. I was about to be the first noob in history to rank up. But then the realization There's hit me. Block. The last jump to get to the parkour pro civilization was a three block jump. It was impossible. It was a three block this jump and no also it's only a two block entrance. That's pro. fucked up. The course up. was impossible to the begin barrier. with. But then I remembered the barrier. This is what the, the barrier wanted me to use it for. He knew the course was impossible. I fucking called it a second a before he said it. Up. I placed down the barrier block and I made the two block jump. I did it. I actually did it. I was the first noob in history the to ever complete this course. No one at the bottom the level knows down. what society is like up here. And I was going to be the first one to figure it out. What was it going to be like? Was I actually going to be able to see They the set sky? that shit up well, minutes we'll ago. Crazy. I walked up to the stone walls and the doors open, revealing a room I've never seen anything like before. I turned the corner right. and I saw a parkour pro just standing there. Uh, hi. Oh shit, he's in the, the background. Who are you? Where did you come from? I'm the only one working here. I came from the noob level. I just beat the course and ranked up. Wow, um, I was not expecting this. I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, just go over there and oh, throw fuck, your Oh fuck, this has never happened before. <laughs> All right, time to get my iron boots. Yes, sir, one ranked up. A noob by the name of Evbo. Yes, sir, I'll keep an eye on him. And iron that was boots. It. That so was the last time I would levels. ever wear leather boots again for the rest of leather my life. From the looks of it, I only had gold. one more lava jump to go. But this time, there were dispensers. Diamond. I backed up and jumped over the lava, and I was equipped with iron boots. I was officially a parkour pro. After I went through, I saw one more jump that led to some barrels. What is this for? It's for food. You only have to pay one jump for two steak here. Only a one block jump for food? That's amazing. I opened the barrel to see something that I've never seen before. Cooked? I've meat? never seen so much in meat, meat in my these. life. In my entire <laughs> life living on the noob level, I've never seen a piece of cooked beef. And now, as a parkour pro, I could fully replenish my hunger bar. Oh my and god. And that meant I could sprint now. Oh man, this is crazy. Congratulations on becoming a parkour pro. You can now head up those Congratulations steps and begin on your life your first in parkour meal. pro civilization. Those were the exact words I wanted to hear. This is it. When I walk up these steps, I will be at the top level of parkour no, civilization. There's, some, there's more. When I walked into there's the more. temple, he's I only, he's only saw massive iron. statues. These statues looked like they were showing the parkour noobs and the parkour pros. Oh, they shit. even had their boots on. This, this place is, like, is just insane. Like solo I've leveling. never seen anything like this. I mean, look at these statue. What the? Gold boots? Who wears gold boots? This doesn't make any sense. What is this? Am I not at the top of parkour civilization? Hey. Parkour delivery. Let's <laughs> go. Cool. My what parkour a twist. delivery is here. Now that I'm a parkour pro, I can get parkour delivered to my house. Hey, did you order parkour construction to this house? Yes, sir. That's me. I ordered the uh, six block tall slime jump to my bedroom. Sounds good. Where do you want it built? Uh, let's see. I think this would be a good place for it. You think you can build it right there? Oh, sure. I can make that happen. To think just a few days ago, I was a parkour noob, and now I'm getting custom parkour jumps installed in my house is crazy. This look good? Yep, I think it's perfect. Hey, thanks, man, for parkouring all the way out here. Sure. Bro's gonna die. Oh, he's yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna... Sure. It was four one blocks in a row, right? Okay, one, two, three, four. There you go. Thank you very much. That was weird. And Don't my tip? Out. Your tip? Really? Don't tell me you thought you weren't gonna tip me. If you're a parkour pro, it's always expected that you tip when you buy something. Oh, I hope I make this. Uh, oh, that can... was close. Oh, wow. A 360? Uh, yeah, you're never good, get man. <laughs> rid of the and tipping like culture, huh? Parkour civilization, the way you tip is with more I don't know. This was fucking Luckily, America. Luckily, I survived that payment for the jump installed in my house. If I missed any oh one God, of those theory. jumps, Guys, I would have fallen back parkour down to the parkour civilization noob takes level, place and my in America. To pro would have been for nothing. <laughs> but I won't say it wasn't worth it because the now ashes I can of practice America. slime jumps anytime I want inside of my house. And this is how my new life is as a pro in parkour civilization. No parkour noob at the bottom level knows what life is 
like up here, except I was the only one to rank up and become a part of parkour society. To rank up to a parkour pro, I had to be the first noob in history to beat an impossible parkour course. When I got to the top, I got my iron boots and I was officially a pro. I thought I had made it. I thought I was at the top of parkour civilization, but that's when I realized I truly knew nothing about the world I was living in. My journey to getting to the top of parkour civilization wasn't even close to being done. Now, I was about to discover what life was like on the second layer of parkour civilization. At the parkour pro level, everywhere you look is oh, a two block fuck. jump. When I was a parkour noob, I thought two block jumps oh, were extremely see. hard, but now that I could sprint, I realized they were almost below. like one block jumps. Something about the pro level felt different. Maybe it was the fact that when I was a noob, I would see dirt in the sky, but now there's nothing above me. And that's when I looked back at the parkour temple. There was still a world above me, and now it was way uh, There's nothing up, above there was something me until I turned around and there was, was shit above me. <laughs> the house I used to live in. When I was down on the noob level, I would look up and all I would see is dirt, but somehow on the pro level, I could look down and I could only assume that the same goes for the layer above me. Now that I was adjusted to my surroundings, it was time to go searching for a place to buy a house. That was assuming that life still worked like that up here. When I took a look around, all I saw were the same identical buildings. Maybe this time I wouldn't be getting a mansion. But that's when I found a building that looked different, and it definitely didn't look like it's a house. Wider. When I walked inside the building, sure enough, it was a shop to buy a new house. Hey, aren't you the noob who ranked up? That would be me. Oh yeah, I thought it was you. I'm selling houses today. Choose one you want to buy. Let's go. It's time to buy my first house Let's as a go. parkour pro. Let's see what these prices are. I can get one house for a two block jump. Oh, that's super cheap. All right. What is this one over here? I can get one house for a 2.5 block jump. Okay. That's a little more expensive. And this last one is one house for a three block. Wait, why are these all the same? All of these options are for the same house. Oops, busted. <laughs> I was trying to get a little more profit. Why would anyone fall for that? <laughs> why Since would there was only it? one house to buy, I obviously went with the cheapest option and bought my first house with a two block jump. Congrats on buying your first house as a parkour pro. Let me take you to it. Let's go. Since all the houses were identical, it was no surprise that I got one that looked like this. Uh, you're all set to move in. Feel free to call the parkour delivery service if you want your jumps changed. A parkour delivery service? Let's go. Being a parkour pro is awesome. What's the with all these room flashbacks? In my house had two one <laughs> block jumps, we get the, and the thing, entire and then like a minute later, we get stories tall. the lead up like to three it. three jumps to get to my bed on the top floor. You're that Evo oh. guy, right? You're the noob who oh, uh, jumps to get to my bed on the top floor. The hey, <laughs> it's your neighbor. Can I come in? Oh, uh, sure. Thanks. You're that FBO guy, right? You're the noob who beat the course and ranked up? Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm the first one to do it, I guess. I can't believe you're my neighbor. That's crazy. Well, you probably have questions about life up here, right? Anything you want to know? Uh, yeah, one actually. Uh, what is he the happens character? when we fall? What is the punishment for missing a jump at the pro level? You go down a level. If you miss a jump, you'll be a noob, and you'll have to beat the course again. Okay, so I can never what fall, noted. So who are the people above us then? What's above a pro? It's probably best I just show you. It suffers Here, from the recap trope and then My neighbor okay, started fair. telling me everything there was to know about parkour civilization. He brought it's a bit more drawing when I'm all watching it all where all thing. the statues were. He explained how parkour <laughs> so civilization like starts at the new level. Feels like it's and a at flashback. level two, you become a parkour pro. Then there were the parkour masters. If you were lucky Shit. enough to rank up, you get gold boots What's above and you a become master? a master. <laughs> My neighbor said that parkour masters never come down to the pro level. But if they do ever come down, it's a parkour pro's nightmare. He said the parkour masters are ruthless and then he walked over to the largest statue the one with the diamond boots he said that this was the parkour champion he said that most parkour people down champion. here don't even believe that the champion i thought he was gonna is say real. parkour but the God. stories <laughs> say there can only be one parkour champion whoever that was lives at the top of parkour civilization which means if i was gonna make it to the top i would all right have guys to a parkour we gotta champion. beat the parkour champion parkour <laughs> get the strange. crown for once no one was at my door making me parkour let's go food, baby but then the question was how do I get food now or what do I even do? Food. I saw that there was another pro going somewhere so I decided to follow him. Soon after I saw another pro going in the same direction which meant they were probably heading to something important. After jumping for a few minutes I saw what they were heading to. They were all heading to this massive structure in the distance. When I got closer I saw that there was a bunch of parkour pros lined up for something. Whatever this place was these parkour pros were willing to do two block vertical like jumps to get here. Fortunately I didn't fail any 
any of these jumps and I made it into the line. I must have Bro, woken up late jumped. to whatever this was because I was the last one to show up. At this point, I didn't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing, but that's when I saw what everyone was waiting in line for. There was a dispenser at the end of the structure. The pro in front of me picked up two items, but the only thing I saw them holding was a piece of paper. What could be so valuable about that piece of paper that people would wait in line this long for? When it was my turn, I clicked the button and I got a piece of steak. So this is how the parkour pros get food. Then I received farm the work. piece of paper. The paper said farm work equals 15 minutes. And this is when I realized how life was different on the pro level of parkour civilization. Yeah, the farm? Instead of parkouring for food like the noobs do, the pros parkour for work. Just like the guy who sold me my house, the guards in parkour prison, or even the pros that fed me every day. They were all just completing their daily task that they got from this piece of paper. And now for my first daily task, I was assigned to work on the farm. Before this, I had never seen an animal in parkour so every now and then he would do something like, oh, go down place to the they were all level. Kept. This place was responsible the, the for jump. feeding all of the parkour pros and all of the parkour noobs. And it should be no surprise that in parkour civilization, even the animals had to do a parkour oh, course. No. My daily task is that why there's meant not that, that many? I had to watch all of the animals that did the parkour course. Oh man, this job is terrible. Now I'm just going to have to watch a cow fall off and die. Whoa, what the? Oh my god, this cow oh. is cooking. How did he even do that? <laughs> the parkour the pros fuck? only eat the meat from the animals that complete the parkour parkour course. They what? say it enhances your parkour <laughs> abilities. As for the other animals that don't make the course, well, that's where the meat comes from on the noob level. No! And some noob's gonna have to eat that. Oh, so they just wow, get the leftovers? I miss that. Parkour pros do their that's daily crazy, tasks dude. for a reason. Once you've completed the task that you got on your piece of paper, you take it to the training grounds. This place is basically the only reason parkour pros are incentivized to work. This is because this is the only place in parkour civilization where you can practice parkour without worrying about falling to the lower level. The entrance to the training grounds is blocked by a barrier. This and the only ground. way in is to throw in your slip of paper once you've completed the work. The daily task I completed gave me 15 minutes of practice time. That meant for the next 15 minutes, I could practice any parkour jump I could possibly think of. Here, you have oh, he the ability build to build too. any parkour jump you want. But with this being my first day as a parkour That's kind of cracked. I didn't even know what I needed to practice. Training arc! So I just decided <laughs> Let's go, to do baby. the jumps that people left here. It seemed like a lot of the pros were practicing fence jumps, which are jumps I had little to no experience on. But what scared me the most is what I saw over here. Someone was practicing not one, but Vertical. Multiple two block three jumps? block vertical jumps. It three almost block. seems impossible, impossible to do even one. But if someone was practicing these jumps, that could only mean one thing. That the way up to become a parkour master would be nearly impossible. If I was going to have any shot at ranking up to become a master, I was going to have to spend much more time in here practicing. Ah, another beautiful day and I don't have to wake up to either raw chicken or raw beef. Even though I've only been here for a few days, I feel like I haven't really enjoyed myself yet. I'll I mean, give, for once in I'll my life, I don't even beef. have to go out side to parkour for food. I don't even sorry. have to grab my piece I'm of sorry. steak. I'll still have full hunger for days. And now instead of being bullied by all the parkour pros like I was down at the noob level, I can just do Yo. anything I want and no one's here to punish me. Hey, you want to come with me to get our daily jobs? I don't want to be late. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do my daily task. I think I'm just going to chill today, honestly. What? What do you mean you're going to chill? You're not going to get your daily what? task? <laughs> Are you sure about that? What? I mean, no one says we have to, so what's the problem? I don't know. I just have never seen anyone not do their daily task. Well, maybe I'm teaching the parkour pros that they don't have to parkour all the time. But later that Bros day, I realized I made a huge change. mistake. Uh, what in the world is that sound? Bro, uh -oh. come on. I was just trying to sleep. Who keeps making that horn noise? Dude, hurry. You gotta get out here oh, now. Follow fuck. me and make sure you don't miss a jump. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Be late for what? Wait, where are you going? I started parkouring in the direction that my neighbor was going. And that's when I saw a bunch of parkour pros lined up, standing completely still. I had no clue what was going on, but I followed my neighbor oh, and we're about soon to meet I the got in line boss. with all of the other parkour pros. No one was saying anything. Hold on, are we about to see, hey, on, about about to see a what's gold going player? On? Dude, don't say anything and look straight ahead. Why? Can't someone just explain what's happening? But that's when it happened. Not too far ahead, oh, someone fuck. dropped down from the sky. It was a parkour master. One of you was supposed to design a new course, but someone didn't do their task. Who was it? Oh no, I'm done for. Why does this have to be me? I watched as the parkour master interrogated each and every one of the oh, parkour guys, pros, he's so fucking knowing that sooner right or later, now. he was going to show up where I was. You 
what was your task? My task? I, uh, I was selling houses to noobs on the bottom level. <laughs> Someone already did that task. Prepare for a parkour battle. A parkour well, the other guy could be lying. battle? The parkour battle starts now. This is just great. Does he have to Why go does against my first him? parkour battle have to be against a parkour master? For my first attack, I'm attacking you with a three block jump. Okay, a three block oh, jump. Oh, not the That's three doable. block jump. I think I can survive this round. In parkour civilization, it should be no surprise that people fight each other with more parkour. If someone attacks you with a jump and you don't make it, you pay the price. Oh, this isn't good. I'm already down four hearts. <laughs> I gave you an easy one, but I guess this is going to be over faster than I thought. Get ready for my next attack. The worst part about parkour battles is you can't even attack your opponent until you defend one of their attacks. And by the looks of this next jump, I probably won't be attacking the parkour master at all. Your oh, turn. Shit. Four blocks by three blocks diagonal jump. All right, here goes nothing. What? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh man, this is so far. How did he do this first try? I was hoping I would get lucky, but luck wasn't on my side. Damn. The second attack Guy, hit me I don't and know. I was he's down to he's two probably hearts. cooked right now. <laughs> this is too fun. He's got to make one the next one and pull out and some crazy shit. That's the, the only way. The master was right. If I failed to defend one more attack, it's game over for me. All I could hope for now is that the parkour master fails this last jump. That way, I could actually have a chance to attack. <laughs> no way he makes this first try. A three block oh, vertical? This is it for you, parkour pro. A what three the block fuck? vertical jump to decide your fate. This was it. My entire journey Wait, in that's parkour civilization came them, down to this one jump. And it was a three block vertical jump. He was gonna jump. practice on I thought on when those. I ranked up to become a parkour pro, my days of parkouring to survive were practice? over. But I soon realized I knew nothing about parkour society. Even as a pro, I wasn't even close to being at the top of parkour civilization. The parkour pros were the workers of society. Every day, we would get a new daily job to complete. And I found out the hard way what happens if you skip your job, because the one day I didn't get my daily task, a parkour master came down and challenged me to a parkour battle. And now I have to do the hardest jump I've ever done in my life if I want to live. This was it. All my work to rank up to become a parkour pro was going to be for nothing. If you I got didn't this. I believe this in you. But at least I was going to die trying. I took a deep breath and I jumped. What? Oh, is, fuck. He did is it. Is this real? I, I did it. I he almost overshot that bitch. Jump. <laughs> you just bought yourself five more minutes of time, but we both know your fate. Get ready to attack me. The parkour master was right. All you I gotta did cook was this find man. myself a you little You gotta time. do the hardest fucking be thing in the world. How do a jump that the parkour master couldn't do? And if I make it too easy, the He's parkour gonna master do the will just get another jump. chance to attack me. I got lucky last time, but I don't think I'd survive another He's attack He's gonna do the, the backwards jump, master. guys! For my first attack, I built a one block jump, and I did a 360. 360 maybe, not bad. just maybe, there was a chance this would work. Wow, a 360? I've never done that before, but if you did it, it can't be that hard. Let's go. He's never done it before i needed him to fail this jump what how who even what? does 360s what is this by some miracle my attack oh my against God. the parkour master was successful Guys, i think i found man. his weakness he couldn't do a 360 he this can't do tricks <laughs> i just had to make sure that i kept making my jumps for my next attack i built a two block jump i've never even made this jump before but my entire life depended on it i jumped and i successfully made a two block jump with a 360. <gasps> this <gasps> is ridiculous how are you doing these jumps i watched as the parkour master tried to defend against my attack but but once again, the 360 was too oh difficult God. for him. This can't be possible. How are you Guys, beating he's fucking me? doing now, it. Both the parkour I feel like I feel like I'm hearts. watching Goku the fight next Freezer to right land now. An attack would win the parkour battle. All right, you ready for a 3 block jump with the 360? No, stop. I yield. You win the parkour battle. What? Are you serious? No way. I actually won the parkour battle? Somehow I beat a parkour master. Because Crazy. you beat me, I have something that can help you rank up to become a parkour master. I could become a parkour master? The master said that the course to becoming a parkour master would be impossible, but he had something that could help me along the way. He pulled out an item and threw it on the oh, ground. Shit. I went to pick it up, and I figured out that it was a totem of undying. He said somewhere in the course there is a jump that I won't survive, and I'll know it when I see it. He told me to go attempt the course to rank up and find this jump. He said to find any information about the secret to completing that jump. Because if I can figure out how to make the jump, I could rank up to become a parkour master. 
This was insane. Earlier today, I didn't even know parkour battles existed. And somehow, I won my first battle. Not just against anyone, but a parkour master. And now, I actually have a reason to go back to the parkour temple and try to do the course to become a parkour master. I didn't like thinking about the fact that that wasn't the course to rank up. That was just the path to get up to the temple. But I wasn't going to make the journey up the temple just yet. Not only did I need food to get my health back, but I needed to do my daily task. I barely escaped with my life after missing one day of work, so I wasn't going to do that again. And today, my task was feed noobs. I realized after all this time of being a parkour pro, I've never made my way back down to the noob level yet. I wonder if anything's changed down there since Does I ranked up. Drop? If you're a pro in parkour, core civilization and you fall you'll lose your rank and become a noob again but you can still go down to the oh, lower okay. level there's okay, just a sense. different way this is the first time i had been back to this part of the parkour temple since i ranked up and now that i was a pro i had access to a different doorway that i've never seen before this new path led to a giant staircase that would take me back down a to the parkour staircase level. if i missed one of these jumps i would for sure die but fortunately one block jumps are too easy for me now that i'm a parkour pro <laughs> when i got to the bottom i collected everything i needed in order Order for me to complete my daily task. It's crazy to think that I'm Chicken still the only one to have ever completed Nobody this course, but the barrier I used still down. should be there, so maybe someone else will. This is so strange. I once lived in this neighborhood. That was once my mansion, and now as That's a his house. Pro, I can see what it really looks like <laughs> from down here. When I lived here, it's I was the only from you. one that lived in my neighborhood, or at least the only one left. So does what anyone live here falls? anymore? Hello? Anyone home? Okay, I guess not. Maybe someone bought my mansion? I don't know. Uh, hello? Anyone here? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, no way. Someone actually does live here. All right, time to set up the jumps. Let's see, one block jump for raw chicken, and then the one block vertical jump for raw beef. Man, I can't believe I'm actually doing this job now. All right, mandatory parkour check. Oh, great. It's you. <laughs> You're a parkour noob now? Were what you the just fuck? at my house? Yeah, you delivered my parkour to me. So what happened? He what fell. do you think happened, genius? You just paid me a huge tip, and I was so happy. And then Let's I fell out the front door. Out. Hey, man, well, you know, I ranked up, so you could too. All right, so now you have to choose your jump. You think I don't know what to do already? Just let me jump for my food in peace. Hey, I feel like I remember being in a situation that was just like this. You really think I could rank up to be a parkour pro? <laughs> Not a chance. You're a parkour noob. It was you him think you're so the whole good time. Now. Just wait till I rank up. Oh, shit. Shoot! Oh, no. man, that 'cause dang. Now he has to spend another really 50 good years in parkour people. prison. Oh well. After only That's finding like two superpower. noobs to feed, I went back to the other neighborhood where I found the old man. It just seems so weird that he disappeared out of nowhere. I wanted to see if there was a chance that he came back. But when I got to the I house, a parkour master walked out the front door. Luckily, I wasn't spotted. What was a parkour master doing all the way at the noob What level? the fuck? And why did he come from this house? When I thought the coast was clear, I made my way over. This couldn't be a coincidence. What this is the twist. only house I've seen with a secret room, and now a parkour master shows up here? Does the master even know about the secret room? I went to go inside, but something was wrong. There was no secret they, He blocked doorway. it off. It was Oh my gone. god. I was sure this was the right house. They're getting rid of all that the evidence. The parkour master must have came here to block up the entrance. I sat there thinking about why the parkour master would do that. But nothing made sense to me. But that didn't matter to me right now. Now that I finished my daily task, what it was time fuck? to try the course to rank up to become a parkour master and find this impossible jump. I got back up to the pro level, dropped off my daily task paper, and got ready to climb the parkour temple. Now, I had one thing to worry about, and that was making this initial course to get into the temple. I wasn't worried about falling. I was worried about wasting my totem of undying. The parkour master said that I would not survive the impossible jump. So if I got Got to that jump with no totem of undying, then this entire journey would be for nothing. I scaled God my damn. way up the side of the park. I'm so like in until this I right got now. to the very top. Most of the jumps were two block vertical jumps, but you got, I'm the hooked. end, I had to make this <laughs> hooked, three block baby. jump. I'm in. Now I couldn't afford to make any mistakes. That's when I made the last jump That's and when I was I made inside a the parkour temple. What's crazy is that none of those jumps were a part of the real course to rank up. This was the real course. Already at first glance, I was seeing blocks I've never seen used in parkour before, but I was expecting that. 
there's a reason why almost no pros even attempt this course, and that's because it's so dangerous. Fence jumps, trap door jumps, and ladder jumps? The jumps just kept getting harder and harder the more I looked at it. But I wasn't Three here jumps? to rank up. All I was here to do Crazy. was find the impossible jump that the parkour master told me about. If I find this jump and study it like he told me to, maybe I have an actual chance of becoming a parkour master. Jumps. I climbed to the top of the ladder, and now I was really at the start of the course. Any fall from this height would result in death. And of course, I have to do fence jumps as the very first section. Fence, sorry, I held ladder. out my totem of undying, and I climbed on the course the to begin. The fence fence jumps like were my worst nightmare but so far i've made three in a row but i has he even practiced that's all he has a whole training course and i haven't I seen him practice again the impossible jump what is this jump is this a four block vertical fence jump there's no way this is the that's right way right up. but there was nowhere else to go this was clearly the right path but this jump was it had to be impossible well, the master gave me a totem for a reason. I attempted the jump, but got nowhere close to even making it. That was it. That was my one chance to use the totem of undying. Damn. And I'm just hoping that that was the jump he was talking about. Now, I had to study the jump, and I knew just the way to do that. Fortunately, it was my neighbor who was working as the parkour delivery service today. Hey, I need a jump built in my house. Follow me. I need to show you what it looks like. All right, so for the jump I need sure, built, I need show it's you. kind of a little ways away. Aw, oh, man. Is the parkour jump all the way up there? Uh, yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll tip you good. Just follow me. I brought my neighbor all yeah, the way up into good. the parkour temple and showed I him the jump <laughs> I wanted him to build. Since the jump was complicated, he placed down a block that copies every block on this jump. And after paying for his services, I now have this impossible parkour jump inside my own house. Now I can study this jump every single day. It turns out the jump was a three block vertical jump, but with the fences, it turns into a four block. It was actually impossible. So what was I missing here? I couldn't just practice this jump because parkour civilization laws state all jumps inside your home must have a risk of dying. So practicing wasn't oh gonna be my best option. I guess he's directly uh, this doesn't make any him sense. A... I'll think about it tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> I was gonna leave it, but the that's boy. when I slipped. <gasps> no! For my entire life, I've been parkouring to survive. That's how any of us survive in parkour civilization. If you don't make the jumps, you pay the price. But no matter how many people I've seen fall, the fucking that cliffhanger. never stopped me from believing <laughs> that, that I could parkour me. all the way to the top of society. I was the first noob to ever rank up to become a parkour pro. I beat a parkour master in my first parkour battle, and I even found the impossible jump that the parkour master told me to look for. The worst part is, Holy is I was shit, so close. Guys. I actually thought I could be a champion one day, but <laughs> one jump like can change Everything. <gasps> no! I thought I was dead until I wasn't. What? How am I alive? My journey in parkour civilization <laughs> should have ended. I was supposed to die there, but One singular a barrier block. block caught my fall. This barrier block had to have been placed by someone, right? Unless it wasn't. The guy who came to deliver parkour used a device that copied every single block from the impossible jump. That had to be so it. A, the barrier was a barrier from the impossible jump. There, this is what the parkour master wanted me to find. It was the way to get past the impossible jump. And now that I know about it, I can actually rank up to become a parkour master. This means I was gonna have to prepare. I couldn't believe it. Just a few minutes ago, I was about to fall down back to the noob level and become a parkour noob forever. And now I'm preparing to rank up again to become a parkour master. All right, let's see what my daily task is today. Parkour course building. Okay, definitely cannot skip that. The last time I tried skipping my daily task, I was assigned parkour course building, and that resulted in a parkour master challenging me to a parkour battle where I barely survived, so I'm not going to do that again. So far, this was the <laughs> first time I've done a daily task that was located in parkour prison, again. <laughs> and the only way to get there is by jumping in the void. Ever since I escaped this prison, I've never been back, and now I'm working here. Oh, finally you're here. I thought you were never going to show up. The parkour masters want another glass course made. And make sure you don't make the jumps too easy. There's only two noobs left in parkour prison, so I'll just grab one of them to do the course. There's only two noobs left in parkour prison? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. In parkour Oh, it's, it's gonna be the delivery the parkour guy. parkour pros are responsible for building new parkour courses for the parkour masters. And since the pros would never want to try these courses on their own, the prisoners of parkour prison are used instead. No way, it's you again! And you no, think you're so good him. now. I was right. Just wait till I rank up. Oh, shit. Shoot. I'm sorry, oh, man, but shoot. you gotta be the one to do random parkour testing today. Why can't you pick the old guy? He's like a hundred years old. Look, man, I don't make the rules. You just gotta do the course. This is the too old guy? easy. <laughs> I'm making it out of here. No, no. Oh, no. He's gone for real this time. All right. Daily task oh, completed. No. One step closer my to becoming side a parkour character. master. 
May you save us all, Evbo. After a few more days of completing more daily tasks, I was getting closer to attempting the course to rank up to become a master. I had been planning this out carefully. I wasn't just going to go into the hardest parkour course of my life unprepared. I had saved four of my daily task papers to take to the parkour training grounds. As a parkour pro, each daily task you complete gives you 15 minutes of practice time. Since I saved up, I have now one hour to practice yeah. as much parkour as I could. This would probably be one of the last times I could parkour without worrying about dying. Because once I step foot into the parkour temple to become a master, there would be no turning back. All of this preparation is relying on the fact that there actually is a secret path to get past the impossible jump. But I've come too far and I've been through too much to give up now. I have to believe there's a way to rank up. Those I tried practicing every jump that I remembered from the parkour temple. Most of the jumps I saw were either fences, trap doors, or ladders. And I used my entire time in the training grounds practicing those jumps. By the end of the hour, He's I felt like expert, I had unlocked though. parkour abilities I've never <laughs> had before. I was speedrunning through fence jumps and trap door jumps easily. Three block jumps weren't even a challenge for me by the end of my training. And that's how I knew that it was time to head to the parkour temple and do the course to become a parkour master. You gotta yes, eat sir. both. He's heading to the parkour temple now. Don't worry, you sir. Fucking I got this. Plan. I can promise you he's not making it out alive. This was it. It was time to start the journey up the parkour temple. The last time I made this climb, I had a totem of undying for a second chance. But this time around, there would be no second chances. This was my last and only run. If I don't make every single one of these jumps in the parkour course, this would be the last view I ever have of parkour civilization. But that's how parkour life is. You either rise or you fall. You can never stay in the same place. And oh I had decided gosh. that I was going to be the one die. to rise. I got to the top of the ladder. You got this, my guy. Go fucking super. Saiyans. Any fall from this height would be the death of me. But the fence jumps weren't what I was worried about. It was this, the impossible jump. This is when I find out if the secret path is real or not. I studied where the barrier block was in my house. If I wanted to land on the barrier, I would have to walk off the fence. If I jumped, I would miss the block. And that's assuming it was even there. <laughs> my but there's only one way noon. to find out. I walked You're off so the ledge right. and I was alive. Was here. The secret path was real. Now, I knew it was possible. It was possible to become a parkour yeah, master. Yeah, where does it lead? I looked around for where oh. to go next and I saw the outline of a barrier three blocks to my left. And I saw the staircase of barriers that would lead up back onto the parkour course. I've never done invisible parkour before, but there's a first time for everything. That's so scary. I made the three block oh my jump God, and I was on the secret path. <laughs> I didn't me. understand. Did someone make the secret path or was the course designed like this from the beginning? Either way, however the secret path got there, it got me back on the course. And now I was going to have to make every jump Suddenly first looks try. Easier. Thankfully, I got past the fence section, but now I was on the trap doors. Trap doors were only a quarter of the size of a regular block, meaning if I missed the jump by even a little, it would be game over. This next jump was a three block diagonal jump. I didn't practice this jump, but I made it. I had made it past the trap doors, but now I was on the regular <sighs> doors. I had almost regular no door, experience with door. door jumps, but I knew I had to be careful. If I wasn't paying attention and I opened one of the doors the wrong way, I could get knocked off and there would be no totem of undying to save me this time. The jumps kept getting harder and harder and each jump I felt like I was barely hanging on the edge, but it didn't matter as long as I was staying on the course. One by one, I kept making the jumps and I was getting higher and higher off the ground. The last door jump was a three and a half block jump. It was far, but it wasn't going to be the jump that stopped me from ranking oh. up. I didn't like thinking about the fact that this course had That's no crazy. room for error. When I ranked up before, at least the course had blocks to potentially break I'm gonna my stop fall. It exactly here, there was nothing that could save me. Luckily, I made it past the door section, and now I was on to the ladder you know, section. No, I'll hit, Everything I'll like, was going smoothly I'll, let's get until out of here I first. found something I've never seen before. Is this jump even possible? This is a two-block vertical jump. I've never seen this jump before, but I figured it had to be possible. I went for it, and I made it. And that's when I saw one of the hardest jumps I've ever seen. Oh, no. This is the hardest jump I've ever seen. Come on, please hang on. This is the hardest jump I've ever seen. I was inches away from slipping off the ladder, but by oh, some shit, miracle, dude. I was still on the course. Now, I was parkouring on fully grown trees. I didn't even know trees still existed in parkour civilization. I didn't know what a tree but was. I didn't have time to focus on that right now. I was looking at the last jumps, and I realized I was almost at the top. I was actually going to do it. All right, where do I jump to now? What the? What is going on? What is? Wait, wait, wait. No. I was. I think that is a good cliffhanger for me to end. I'm inserting my own cliffhangers, motherfuckers. Okay. That was actually kind of wild. I'm not going to lie. That, that Minecraft parkour civilization kind of cooks. Like, I wasn't sure what I was expecting. 
but that was kind of fantastic. The lore, the plot, the characters, the callbacks, the foreshadowing. Ugh, crazy. So excited for the next hour. We'll, we'll do it next stream as another goal. So if you want to watch it, join next stream, do the super chats for the goal, and we'll see if we can watch it then. I'm excited though. This was great. Yeah, we'll probably do more fun stuff in the future as goals on live stream. So make sure you go and check it out on those live streams so we can watch those goals and have fun. But regardless, thank you for coming to the party.